Here is one weakness of the covariance and that is there's a dependence on units. If I measure my units for example in feet or if I choose to use my units in inches I'm going to get a different covariance and that's one weakness and the correlation is something that overcomes that but in addition to overcoming that dependence on units there are some other nice um, consequences of, of moving to the covariance. So here is the definition. Let x and y be random variables with finite population means mu sub x and mu sub y respectively and finite population variance is sigma x squared which is a positive variance and sigma y squared which is another positive variance respectively. The population correlation between the random variables x and y is and the, Greeks, the Greek letter rho is used pretty universally here. Expected value of x minus mu x times y minus mu y. You may recognize that numerator as the population covariance divided by sigma x sigma y. Dividing by sigma x sigma y is what makes this unitless. The units of x drop out here and the units of y drop out the population correlation also goes by rho sub xy if there's any confusion on which random variables are being considered rho sub xy is used I've seen rho 1 2 also used also CORR of xy is another way of expressing rho in addition to being called the population correlation sometimes it's called the correlation coefficient Keep in mind that there, the word population here is added because there is also a sample correlation in the world of statistics that usually goes by the letter R. This can be written as rho is equal to if we pull this sigma x and sigma y inside of the expected values this is the expected value of x minus mu x over sigma x times y minus mu y over sigma y. We have seen these variables before and those are called standardized random variables. Finally as mentioned earlier rho is unitless.